Hiding vocabulary is useful when there are buttons you'd like to not have available to a user, but you also don't want to program and reprogram. Um, so hiding simply makes them invisible to the user. On this page set, I actually have a couple of buttons on my system keyboard that uh, I sometimes use with some students, and they are buttons that I populated here in the upper right corner to allow us to edit the contents of the message window. Generally, I like to have those off, but when I want to have access to those tools, I can simply unhide them here in the editing. So to do that, we're going to go up to the blue menu bar and tap menu, and we're on the page that needs to be edited. That's important. So we navigated to the keyboard first, and we're selecting menu from the blue toolbar, and we're going to choose edit page. And now you'll notice these gray buttons in the upper right-hand corner of the screen have some content on them, but we didn't see them before because the hiding was in play. In order to hide or show a button, you're simply going to select it in editing mode, and we're going to choose edit this button. And this is where button labels and text and pictures are all shown in the editing. If we scroll down to the next section of the menu options, you'll see an option here for visible, which is unchecked right now. That was a hidden button that's shown in gray. So if I go ahead and activate that, that's how most of the buttons in the system are configured to be visible and usable. So what we're doing now is uh, making that left arrow visible, and we're going to tap save. And now we see that gray background disappeared from it. If I wanted to do the same with the right arrow, I select it, choose Edit This button, and we're going to scroll down and select the toggle to make that visible as well. Now we'll hit Save. Normally I would go ahead and do these as well, but I'm just going to exit editing for now. So in the red toolbar, I'll choose Done. And now we'll see these two are visible, but these here remain hidden. To go back in and hide those two arrows again, I'll choose Menu, go into Edit Page, select the button I want to change, edit this button, and I will uncheck Visible. So that once again has that gray background appearing. We'll repeat that step with the second button. Save that change to the button. And now that we're done editing this page, we'll choose Done, and we're back to the original state with those buttons no longer functioning or selectable.